Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Two Points Campus. I hope you're having a good one because I am excited to be back. I probably don't need to explain to you because you can see it, but we are back with our sports university. And I've had a couple of ideas for how we can potentially make this place a little bit better because it's definitely been having some issues. Now, the good news is, if you look in the bottom right, we have $285,000, so we're doing okay there. But between this episode and the last one, I did make some changes, and those changes apply right down here. We got a student union, we got another staff room, we got another library, and we got some extra showers right here, as well as some extra bathrooms right here. And the idea with all of this is to try and make the students as happy as can possibly be. And for the most part, it has worked. Now, we are still seeing queues for things like student lounges. We're seeing queues for staff rooms as well. And I've also got plenty of staff that need to be trained too. But what I'm thinking I want to do is branch out a little bit because I've realized that something I can do with uh, a lot of the rooms around here is I can go and essentially say that, for example, this private tuition room is only going to be for academic exercise, or this lecture theater is only going to be for academic exercise. Long story short, I want to go ahead and get another course. So I'm going to purchase this tile right here. I'm going to go to manage courses and we're just going to grab something. It doesn't really matter what it is. I'm thinking gastronomy would probably make a good amount of sense with a sporty university. So you're exercising, but also getting food made fresh. I mean, that, I know that's not how it actually works in the game, but I, I thought that would be kind of cool. Uh, we could look into virtual normality. We could look into any of this, really. Maybe money wrangling. We've never actually done anything with money wrangling thus far, so maybe... Maybe that's what we do. And I think that is actually what we'll go ahead and do. So we'll get that course. And I could, I could get funny business as well if I really wanted to. But what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade money wrangling and we'll confirm that. And that means if we go ahead and open this, we need a computer lab. We need another lecture theater. And we need a money wrangling teacher, which should be relatively easy. So we'll get this space right here, which is a pretty cool looking campus building. It's got plenty of space for expansion as well and i guess we've got two hundred and ten thousand dollars so let's get ourselves a computer lab which has to be four by four so i guess and what is this this is like a little six across space right here this is six across as well what if we did what if we just did a big a big old computer room something like this might be kind of cool and then this is, what distance is this? <laughs> Hold on a minute, what is, what is this space? That's three across, ooh. I was thinking we put a lecture theater in there, but now I don't think I can. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, we'll do we'll do this and we'll put something else in that space. Then maybe a nice lecture theater down here. Uh, so for the computer room, we're gonna need a door. We are gonna need some analog consoles, which honestly, I kind of like the idea of putting these in like the middle of the room they're a little bit expensive but something like this might look kind of cool right in the middle of the room we can do a whiteboard up at the end there and another one up at the end there we are going to need an analog computer as well which is huge and i totally totally forgot this was a thing so let me just move these around a little bit and then if we wanted to go a little crazy we could get plus five percent learning power with a digital console but that seems that seems excessive it's thirty five thousand dollars we could throw in analog servers or monitors if we really wanted to as well what else can we unlock in wait what is this a digital server twenty five thousand oh my god there's some serious there's some serious stuff in here we've got photo stats we've got oscillators we've got plotters there's there's some really really cool stuff in here but i don't really think i want any of it to be quite honest i think we'll just spend forty thousand on this as it is right now and i'll go ahead and put you know a little bit of air conditioning up there in that corner a little bit of air conditioning in that corner as well and i guess you know an analog monitor and an analog monitor might be a bit of an idea 
And I'm not thinking we'll go too much crazier, although we could... We could get a little bit of a bonus to learning power with uh, two of these guys. Might be kind of interesting. And then maybe by the doors as well, just to make things, you know, look kind of cool. So that works out for me. We'll go ahead and approve it. It's $56,000, but there we go. And now we need a lecture theater. And what size does it need to be? Four by four, so it can't go in there. And you know, while we're at it, I want to go ahead and see if I can just change out the lecture theater to be... I guess a little darker. We'll go for conference gloom. And then for the floor, what do we got? We could go for a nice dark blue. We could go for this. I kind of like the dark blue. I think that looks great. So we'll approve that and apply that to all rooms of that type. So the other lecture theater up here should now be considerably darker, which it absolutely is. We should also get around to upgrading the lecterns as well, but we'll, we'll get there. What can I do with this space though? We could make it... Well, the default one's actually not that bad. It's it's really not. We got teal tedium, we got on and off whites, we got mouse mat gray and blue boar. I think we'll just keep the computer lab as it is because it looks okay. And I suppose we should, I mean, we have what, 126,000. We also have a reward here. So we'll go ahead and grab that. But I suppose we should look at getting some other things in here to keep the students happy. So let me go and grab a student lounge and I'm going to put that right about, where's the door on this place? There's the door. I'm going to put it right about there and extend it down so we just have more space for the students to lounge. And there we go. We have a student lounge. Not really much different than the other one, but it should keep the students relatively happy in this general area. I'm also wondering, is it something that I can say... No, it is going to use a specific course. Okay. So this one is going to not do academic exercise. This room is not going to do academic exercise either. And then I guess these places over here, I guess could... Well, I guess this isn't so far away that it shouldn't do academic exercise, but we'll... I, I guess we'll just, we'll just sort of leave this space as is. Although we do probably want to get our hands on some bathrooms over here too. So let me go and grab, let me go for you, I think. I think you're going to be a fantastically sized bathroom for this space. And we're going to put it, I think right about there is, uh, is pretty good for some bathrooms. So we'll drop that in there. And I also want to go ahead and grab some showers because I think that's going to be kind of useful as well. And I'm actually going to just move some rooms around a little bit here. So let's pick you up and put you there. And then let's pick up the showers. And what I think we do is the showers go here. And then the bathroom can go here. And that way we have a nice open space. We can put some benches in there. We can maybe put some, I don't know, some kiosks in there. We can just make this a relatively pleasant space to be. And we could probably get another student union over here as well because... The only one we have is this one, which is pretty far away from everything. So let's go ahead and see how much this is going to be to duplicate. It's 57,000, but we can afford that. So let's see. Can I put it here? I can, but I don't think I should. I could put it here, which honestly doesn't look like a bad place for it. So let's do that. I, I think having a student union here is going to be really good for us. And apparently I also need another lecture theater. Interesting. I wasn't really expecting to need another lecture theater. I don't know that I can afford another lecture theater. <laughs> Interesting. Huh. That's weird. I, I guess... Hmm. I guess the reason is I've probably set this up so that money wrangling can only... Oh. Oh, we do need another lecture theater. <laughs> okay, I figure this right here is going to work. So let me go ahead and turn off academic exercise in that... Oh, we... Ah, interesting. We do. You know what? All lecture theaters for all courses should be just fine. Let's go ahead and start the academic year and actually manage courses. 137 students, 966,000. I'll take it. Let's start the year and see what we can do. It should be kind of interesting. I'm kind of hoping that we can actually, you know, turn this whole place into an interesting, interesting university. I was sitting thinking about Two Point Campus last night whilst trying to, you know, get to sleep. And uh, that's always a fun time. 
It's always a fun time. You're laying there, you're like, ah, it's been a good day. I got a lot of work done. And then you think, oh, but hold on a minute, my campus. What can I do to my campus? Uh, and basically what I think I can do to my campus is I, I think just bringing more courses to the campus and bringing more people in here is kind of going to be the way to go because as it stands at the minute, I mean, we're starting to make money, but I'm also struggling to get the academic exercise grades up. So why don't I bring more people in so I can make more money and then put that money into academic exercise? That's, that's kind of what I'm looking at. Now we do need to get ourselves another assistant. So Poppy Custard, congratulations. You're going to work in there. And we're going to say that you are only going to work in the student union. So there you go. I also took the stage out of the student union because I didn't have the money to keep it, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's just how things are sometimes. And that's okay. Uh, we'll get it back in there eventually. It'll be okay. Also, there's a bit of a queue in here. Ooh, I like their tuxedos. I really like the tuxedo. I like the stripy pants as well. What uh, what are you what have you got in your face? What hold on a minute. What square <laughs> square eyes. Okay, that's the thing that we're going to have to deal with now. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh can I <laughs> can I get myself a medical office? It's $25,000. Never mind. I cannot get myself a medical office. Although we are about to we are about to I guess get paid for September, so we might be able to get ourselves a medical office, depending on how much money we get. We're at 14000 right now. 39000 I'll take it. Okay. Can I get myself a medical office now? It needs to be three by three, which is perfect for this space. So we'll go ahead for this and we'll do, uh, we'll do a door in the middle. We'll do the, the old machine right. Uh, can I get it right in the corner? I absolutely can. And then for the desk, I mean, it can go hopefully against a wall or something. It can go here, right? Yeah. So right about there is pretty good. And I could put more stuff in here. I could do some medicine cabinets, I suppose, just to uh, to boost the effectiveness of the room. Do a little bit of hand sanitizer, level two, and a bit of air conditioning just right there. And there we go. Medical office looks perfect. Should keep people happy. And it, uh, yeah, it has a capacity of two. So let's go ahead and hire an assistant that can run this place. I guess we'll go for Hugh Backthumper, which is, um, that's a name. That's definitely, that's definitely a name is, uh, is what that is. Good old, <laughs> good old Hugh Backthumper. That sounds a little weird. I'm going to be honest, but, uh, yeah, we'll go and get some vending machines there and not worry too much about this guy's name. In fact, I almost wonder if we should spend a little bit of time uh, going ahead and doing that thing what I said we were going to do, which is uh, putting some benches out into this space here. So let's just line this wall with four of them. And then I sort of want to line the middle of this space with a bunch of benches as well. So something kind of, uh, I think something kind of like this is is kind of neat. I think it just, you know, gives gives everyone somewhere to uh, to sit and sort of chill, right? And that's, that's sort of what we're looking for. And it's going to be especially good if I do eventually put some kiosks and stuff over here. So we'll see if that works out. We'll see if the students appreciate it. We're probably going to need more stuff in the area to... What are you doing? What did you just do? The thing's at 50%. I just bought that and it's already wrecked. What are you... What are you... What are you doing? Oh my god, he's got a cheese grater on my plant. He just killed my plant. What? Hold on a minute. Where's my security? Oh, there he is. All right, mate. Take your time. Oh, hello. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, all right. Security got him, I think. I did actually spend some time, by the way, going through and training all of my security to be able to do, uh, well, all of my, I guess, janitors to be able to do security, which seems to be helping us a little bit. We are defeating more of these guys, but we still only have five janitors, so... Let's go and hire you, and let's just see who else we can get. Do we have anyone else with security? Not really. We have you, and you're very fast, though. So Mia Sparrow, you're hired, and we're going to immediately train you in security, which I think is going to be quite good. So that's two more janitors that can clean everything up. So hopefully, hopefully that ends up happening, and hopefully we see some 
improvements. You know, I almost wonder if half of my problems are being caused by the fact that students have so far to go between all of this space and generally anywhere else they might need to be. Because, you know, say a student's over here and then has to cross the entire campus to get to a lecture theater for their current course, I just feel like that's probably not very good for them. So I'm almost wondering if we should maybe consider, I don't know, getting a lecture theater in here somewhere or buying, say, this plot of land and putting a lecture theater down there. I feel like it would probably be beneficial, right? Just having something there for them. I don't know. I just, I can't help but notice that my grades, they'll go up to a B occasionally and that's really about it. So, I mean, let's, let's see here. So, shower sinks, that's the hygiene thing. Improve grades by running classes, completing assignments, and providing private tuition. Highly trained teachers, nice environments, and better equipment, as well as general happiness, will also help students receive better grades. Okay. So, let's, I guess, let's go ahead and copy the training room, right? So, we'll go ahead and copy the training room, and... Doors on that side. We'll put it... Well, I don't know where to put this thing, actually. Could put it right there. Give us a little bit more space in, in here. It needs to be... Four, it does need to be 4x4, four four, annoyingly. So, I mean... I feel like there is, is probably... It's probably the best space for it. I could make it smaller, I suppose. That is, that is certainly an option. Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> actually, not sure. Uh, where to put this thing? I kind of like the idea of, um... Yeah, I think I like the idea of there for this thing. And... Let's see. Can I move these guys? I absolutely can. I'm going to put you there. I'm going to put you there. And I want a couple more of these screens just to boost the effectiveness of the, uh, of the room. And we'll go ahead and confirm that. And that's fine. And I think what I'm going to do is... Hmm. What can I put in this space? I actually have no idea what I could put in that space. I guess private tuition, right? It needs to be three by two, so there is kind of perfect for it. Uh, can I actually cancel that room and just go copy and paste private tuition? Because it is three by... What, do I not have private tuition? Do I only have one private tuition room still? Ooh, I have been neglecting that. Okay, that suddenly explains a lot that's wrong with this university. Right. Hold on. Wait a minute. No way. There's no way I only have... Am I in... No, I've got two more here. Yeah, okay. No, we're fine. We're fine. Got slightly confused there for a second. Uh, I need a teacher. I want Vince Moose right here. You're going to work private tuition. And that is all you are going to do. So we have four, four private tuition rooms, four private tuition teachers. But I'm also going to hire Ludwig Mackerel. And I'm going to say that you are also only going to do private tuition. And I guess research, because we might look into... Oh, no, we'll do private tuition. So you're going to have nowhere to go right now, but that's fine. Uh, but at the very least, that does now mean that we can have more students go to more private tuition, which should help bring the grades up eventually, right? Eventually that'll help bring the grades up. Uh, now what I also want to do is I think maybe start looking at upgrades for my training pods. I feel like that would be a good idea. It's quite expensive, but I do, I do think that's going to be beneficial. I think we could also look at upgrading, uh, this one as well. Again, very expensive. But we can also look at upgrading for 15,000 uh, the Omni Cures as well. Because if we can upgrade those, we're going to be curing people faster and that's going to be good for us. So just upgrading this university across the board, I think, is going to be very, very useful. I just, I think it's a thing we need to do at this point. And just like that, it is the end of another academic year. We need more money wrangling teachers. So let's go and hire Janet Brass, right? So you're hired and you are not going to be doing private tuition. Uh, we'll go and hire Troy Hugs back as well. And you are also not going to be doing private tuition. 
So that gives us everyone we need for those particular teachers. And we do have some people complaining about temperature down there. Is it too warm? It is. Okay, well, there's an air conditioning unit, and we might want to move that, actually, just to be more like there. And that does seem better. So, this seems good to me. Uh, I do think upgrading this could be an idea, but I'm really worried about what I'm about to see. I knew it would want another one of those. I knew it would want another computer lab, and I don't have anywhere to build one. Well, I do. I actually do. I could just build another building right here, and I guess that's kind of what we're going to need to do. I don't know that I'm going to have the money to actually build a computer lab here, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, what we'll do is this, we'll bring this over to here, down like this, and we'll sort of just fill up that space. And I guess that looks interesting. I might, I might just, hmm. Yeah, we'll just we'll just leave it like this, and that's that's fine by me. Uh, as for an entrance on this, I mean, it's a nice big door on the side, or maybe we go for the smaller door. It doesn't really matter which one we go for, really. I guess we could. I guess we'll go for the big one. We'll go for the big entrance, right about there, and that's going to be six thousand two hundred and fifty. So we'll go ahead and approve that. And then, how much would it be to clone this room? It's more money than I can afford. That's probably fair enough. We've probably overdone it on the size of that room. Now, looking at it, a computer lab is $26,000. It needs to be 4x4, four four, so I'm wondering if we just build a smaller computer lab and hope for the best on that, because we do have a little 4x4 four four space down in this corner, which is probably fair enough. And what I could do is actually put this guy over here and extend into that space, and I guess, I mean, that's 5,000 right now. So let's, let's see what we can do here. Now, this part is essential, so it can live right there. And then the whiteboard is essential as well. So the whiteboard can go right there by the door, although I want to move it ever so slightly into the middle. And then the analog console is also essential. So I think what we'll do is get one of those here, get one of those there. And then we can just expand the room later on and that that gives us the computer room that we need so in terms of air conditioning i guess we'll just throw a unit up there and that'll be all right and then the rest of this is going to be very warm in here but that's that's fine we at least have another computer lab and that's kind of what we're looking for so let's start the year we're going to be looking at a decent little intake and honestly we're going to need more dormitories as well that's actually going to be massively important at some point here but We'll get there. We'll we'll get around to the dormitories. I'm not uh, not a hundred percent not a hundred percent there yet. We've we've got to take this in steps, right? We don't have we don't have unlimited money yet. So I think I figured out what I'm gonna do with getting food into more of this area, and it's gonna be very simple actually. I'm gonna come down here. And this is where I want to put things like a smoothie kiosk. And I think I'm going to do a veggie kiosk as well. Because they're actually good for healthiness. Although it seems like they all are. Which is interesting, actually. But I think... I think we'll go for a, we'll go for a coffee kiosk. And let's see if I can do these interestingly. We'll go for coffee... Here. And I guess we'll go for coffee and ramen. Right, we'll go, we'll go for those two right next to each other like that. It's a little bit of a weird uh, spot for it. And I'm actually not sure why you are complaining about your placement. There we go. Uh, so that's that's where I'm thinking for those. I also wonder, can I can I turn these things? Ooh, I can turn these at like different. What does that look like if I do that, though? That's weird. It's, it's kind of weird having angled walls. I don't know that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It looks odd. Uh, let's see. As for tables around here, I mean, I I kind of like the idea of this as like a little sort of social space. I think it's kind of it's kind of cool. So just that right there, and you know we can do some generic benches sort of over this way. That is a staff room there, by the way. But just a little something like that. And uh, what else can we do? I want to make this place nice and also air condition it because 
I haven't done that yet. Uh, so we'll go for AC right about there. And we'll go for AC right about there. And that makes it nice and cold. But what else can I... I mean, maybe... Oh god, the book club wants this thing. The book club wants a lot of things, let's be honest. I do wonder... Ooh, should we go for the power nap club as well? Do we have the power nap club? I think we we got a club, right? We got the... We got the book club. We might want to look into the power nap club. And we do have room for it up here, to be fair. How much is that thing? 2,000? Sure. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves one of those. And then we'll go and place these sheep things just sort of everywhere. Uh, so we'll go and put one, like, here. They have a weird spot, but that's okay. Uh, we can go ahead and put one just in here as well. And we can put them sort of over in the other part of the campus as well. So basically, the club can go and rest. Because I'm pretty sure that's what this does. It just lets them rest. I actually don't really know. I've never really paid proper attention to what these things do. But we'll put that there as well. And we'll get one. Well, we don't need it in the dormitories. But yeah, that should be a thing. Uh, but I do think that means we now need two more assistants, right? Or three more assistants. So let's see what we can do about that. Let's go into assistance and let's go for, I guess we'll go for you and you can work the recruitment stand. And that is in fact, all you're going to do. And then for the other two, let's go for, I guess, Jemima Spanner. You can work over here and we'll also get you to only work at the kiosks. And we'll also get ourselves, let's see, Tex Solomon. Now, something else I think we absolutely need to do is get ourselves another campus building. And I'm going to put it over on this side of things. Uh, let's see, we want to do this. And uh, essentially, this is where we're going to put some dormitories. Uh, so this is going to come all the way over here and then need to go like this. And then I guess we should do this as well. I don't know if I want to do an entrance on that side or not, though. It might, it might just be another entrance right there. And that might be okay, to be quite honest. And I think I'm also going to just go ahead and match sort of the, the windows around here as well. And maybe we should bring this... No, nah, we'll not bother bringing that forward. We'll match those windows. We're not going to match any windows here. Uh, I don't think there's many windows to match elsewhere, so I guess we'll just match these four as well so right there and that should be okay so we'll go ahead and approve that and i don't know how well the dormitory is going to fit in there but it will give us space for some and also for i don't know more food more toilets more showers and all that good stuff because student hygiene is kind of a big deal so we'll see how that goes now let's take a look at these dormitories let's go ahead and copy this one it is nineteen thousand to uh to build another one so what we'll do is go ahead and drop a dormitory i guess right there we have we have got a decent chunk of change so we'll duplicate a few of these guys and we're gonna be selling some windows but that's okay we can uh we can replace those we'll sell those ones as well apparently and let's see Ooh, i don't love the little corridor down there uh, i do like that the corridor between these guys is pretty big though so that's not bad so let's do this and let me grab another one and put it here and i don't mind this little bit of corridor because i can just do like a vending machine down there and then this space i don't know what it's going to be i have no idea what it's going to be although i suppose we could do this and then that gives us less space and it also gives us room for another vending machine so this isn't too bad. This is this is actually okay. Again, room for toilets, room for showers and all that stuff. So let's actually just see what we can do with all of that. Let me just go ahead and copy you. And I mean that doesn't that doesn't fit in there too badly. It fits there quite nicely as well, except for the door. Uh let's see. What about down here? Ooh. Now that's not bad either. Let's be quite honest. That's it's not bad at all. Um is it is a little cramped looking so maybe you know go in and take some of these guys out maybe we move uh the door a little bit i don't know that i i don't know that i love that but 
it, it definitely works, right? So we'll go for that for a bathroom. And then for the showers, it's just going to be very, very simple. Or it would be if I had the money to build them, which I don't. So let's just go through here and I guess they want a tree bench somewhere. Uh, we'll go ahead and place it just back here so it's out of the way and they'll stop asking me for it. What else do they want? A family tree? Sure. Where do you want it? In your dormitory? All right. There you go. Enjoy. Who wants what? You want a dance floor? Nope. All right. We want an open day. High jump? Nope. Money wrangling applicants? Bookcase? Nope. Invasion was whatever. <laughs> it's just a lot of just a lot of paperwork. It's like running a school. It's almost like I'm running a university. Oh, there we go. All right. How do we do in the awards this year? We got four of them. 99% pass rate. One person failed. That's okay. Okay. I am... Oh my god, we got so many awards. I'm actually kind of content with, uh, with, with how things are going at the minute. I've got to be honest. I feel like the the next year is potentially going to be really good because i feel like we're on the brink of like figuring out the problems that we're having with this campus i feel like we're, <laughs> we're really close to doing that i also need to get rid of you and i need to put a door right about there very very small shower but i'll take it and then we have this open space where we can do some stuff but for now let me just do some air conditioning here and some air conditioning here and we'll do some air conditioning right about here and that area is very warm but that's okay the next thing i want very simply is going to be a vending machine and give me another one for here and you know what give me another one for right here there we go so that should keep everyone happy with the food and the vending machines and all that uh we have this space to play with at some point we'll put something in there we could probably put another dormitory, but we'll figure that out. It's, well, actually, maybe that's space for, like, another medical office or something. Because they are three by three, and we do get a lot of injuries. How much is a medical office? Can I afford another one? No. Okay, well, never mind then. Uh, can I upgrade a course? I can. I don't know that I want to. I'm gonna be honest. I don't. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, no, they do want things. Hold on. Yeah, so if I... Wait. Wait, 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 Uh, revert changes. They want another teacher. Hold on, I've got another award as well. Uh, so they, they want another teacher, which I'm pretty sure I can afford. Wait, what is it? Academic exercise teacher? Ooh. Wait, I've got another award? I do, okay. So they want another academic exercise teacher. I can, I can do that. We'll go for Dorothy Phantom. And we'll make sure you're set to only do the things I want you to do, which is fantastic. I also have a few teachers that are running private tuition who shouldn't be. Hold on a minute. At least I think I might have some teachers that are running private tuition that shouldn't be. Not actually 100% sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Why do we have five teachers running? Oh, wait, no, it's because four of them are... Yeah, four of them are exercise. One of them is the, the money thing. We're fine. Okay. So, if I upgrade this, it's going to want another teacher and another room. And it's going to need 64,000 in order to do that. Yeah, so it's going to want another, another teacher and another cheese ball field. <laughs> oh, I do not. I do not think so. Absolutely not. Um, can I edit this to get more money from people? I can have less students and more money. That that doesn't seem like a bad thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. Doesn't, doesn't seem like a bad thing at all. Bring the fees up a little bit. They're not going to be very happy about it, but... I mean, it's, what, two less students and for, like, another thousand dollars? Yeah, absolutely do that. And then for you... I mean, let's... Do the same thing? For, like, 9,016 students? That's okay. It's more money. 1.2 million in tuition fees next year, 154 students. I'm here for it. Although I'm really worried that it's about to ask me for a... Bloody gym! I knew it! can't afford it and I don't have room for it. What do you mean you want another gym? Oh. <laughs> oh boy. How do I... It's 9,000. It can be four by three. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to build a gym in there, aren't I? <laughs> All right. How to get a real weird looking gym. I'll tell you what, but we'll do it. Uh, put that there. Let me... Uh... <laughs> Let me move this hand sanitizer. 
Uh, and let me, let me move this door. Actually, we'll move the hand sanitizer back to, uh... <laughs> I can't believe this. I actually can't believe that it needs a gym. Slightly annoyed about that. Slightly annoyed about what I'm about to do as well. Uh, but yeah, we'll do this. And now, move, uh, not the dormitory itself, the door. I just need... I just... <laughs> I just need the door. That's all I need. The door. And it's gonna live there. Okay. So that's fine. And now, we need a gym, right? So we're gonna build a $9,000 gym right here. It's a ridiculous place for it, but, uh, sure. It needs, it needs this. And apparently that's, <laughs> apparently that's all it needs. <laughs> that's kind of great that that is actually all this thing needs. Uh, let's do this. Let's, we might as well make it like, sort of decent, right? So we'll do, we'll do this sort of thing. We can throw like a window there and a window there. And you know what? I feel like a window here and a window there. All right. Yeah, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's as good as it's going to be. It's not really going to get much better. We'll do, what is this, an exercise bench? Yeah. So an exercise bench here and I guess here. Uh, we can do a couple more of those, I suppose. Nothing too crazy, but just a little something, something. $13,000. There we go. We got another gym. That's not exactly where I was expecting to put one of those, but you know what? It'll do the job. Let's get a, uh, an air conditioning unit right in the middle of the room. This space is kind of nice and chill. And let's just... Wait, hold on a minute. If I upgrade you... Wait, it does... Oh, it doesn't want another room, though. Ooh. Oh! Okay! Start the year! Yes! Start the year! We should have more money! We should have more students! I don't know that we're ever gonna get to a point where we get the A, the grades up to an A grade, but you know what? I'm happy with where we're at so far. I'm, I'm happy with, with whatever this is. It looks kind of silly, but I can make it... I can make it look good. I can put some, like, hedges across here. This, this is, this is good. This is, this is a good development, I think. So it turns out that we are actually turning monthly profits as well with the changes that I made, which is kind of fantastic, and I'm very, very happy about it. I will say, though, the grades don't seem to be moving in the slightest. Now, students in general are at 62% happiness. They could certainly be better. Grades overall, I mean, you know, better students or happier students would probably help them out a fair bit. I reckon another library would be a good shout as well. Honestly, it might not be a bad idea to get our hands on another building with the sole purpose of putting like a big library in there and getting, I don't know, more, more chill stuff for the students to do. Uh, at the very least, I haven't really seen any students complaining. I mean, this one's going for pastoral care. He's, he's aggravated uh, at the moment, but none of the students, I mean, they could be happier for sure. A few of them are failing, but they're not as miserable as they used to be. We're not seeing as many students who are wanting to quit. And that's that's kind of the, the good thing there. Uh, apparently we also have a lecture theater somewhere that is having some trouble. Oh my God, those cues right there. Ah, it's this one. Uh, let's go ahead and call a janitor to fix this and get that sorted out. So this thing's back up and running. And yeah, the queues on some of these food stands are kind of ridiculous. I feel like we need more of them. I'm going to be honest. If we're getting those massive queues, uh, we don't have really any queues up there, but I definitely think a few more food stands would be an idea. And thinking about it, over here especially, I think needs a few food stands. So let's make a little bit of a change here, right? Because we have we have this area, right? This is This is kind of open and not doing anything right now. Let me sell this. Let me sell this. We're going to sell you. We're going to try and sell that as well. And we're going to sell this. I want to move the big book. I don't really... I, I hate these things, to be quite honest. They just look kind of silly. Um, but I think for now, we'll put the big book here. Right? So it's kind of out of the way. It doesn't look as stupid there. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into this space. I'm going to get myself some hedges. We're going to go to here. We're going to come down to here and go to here. And then put the tall hedges in the corners because that's kind of how this works in terms of decoration. And you know what? 
we'll do the same thing here just so this is like you know all nice looking so this i think is somewhere that we could go ahead and put a few of these guys i think it'd be a good place for them right i think it'd be a really good place for them so what's the middle that looks like the middle there so one and two and then three and i don't know if that's gonna work apparently that's not reachable so maybe we just do the three of them or we could i guess try and do four of them i think these need to be moved forward as well uh so let's do let's try that let's try doing i don't know four of them and see if that works out for us so let's go ahead and grab one more which i can absolutely afford we'll go for the hot dogs and yeah, that looks okay. And I suppose we could also go and throw some path for uh, this as well. So something like this. I think that looks pretty cool. I actually think that looks uh, that looks pretty cool. What about this? No, that looks pretty terrible. Uh, yeah, this this works fine. I think we could even go so far as to extend the path back to there, and maybe a little bit further. Uh, maybe not a little bit further. That looks kind of weird. We'll just do this. So yeah, we'll do we'll do this. And we can go ahead and just hire some assistants to work here. We've got so many assistants in this place, but like you, for example, are going to be perfect. So we'll place you right there. We'll go ahead and get uh, get you as well. We can go ahead and grab, I suppose, you as well. And then the last one we're going to need is going to be you right there. And then you four need to be set up to only sort the food and drink kiosks and now i'm hopeful that what we're gonna see and we are seeing it is a bunch of students coming over here for drinks and for food and in theory that should make them happier which is going to help their whole learning process be that little bit better and that bit more effective so this is good this should lead to better students it should lead to more money it should lead to higher grades and it should stop a lot of the complaints around here because I think most of the complaints were that they couldn't get food and that they were a bit unhealthy. So that is hopefully going to be good for us. And that's hopefully going to lead, like I said, to better grades and better students and healthier students as well. Now, let's go ahead and take a look here and see what all of this is about. They want a, a prestige level nine student lounge. Which one? This one? How? How am I? <laughs> I'm sorry, but how? How do you expect me to get this to level nine? No, we're not going to be doing that. Uh, let's go ahead and reject that. They want a cheese bowl machine. I mean, we could, I guess. I I, I think we, we sort of got the room for it. I mean, I, <laughs> I mean, sure, we, we, we could. I guess it might make the field better. I, I don't know. We're not going to do that either. Let's just see here. They want the... Uh, oh, this is for the sleep club, isn't it? Oh, man. Where am I going to put this thing? I guess I'll put it back here for now. I don't... I really don't like these weird statue things, but apparently they're needed. Uh, that's a statement. That's okay. Money... <laughs> oh, they want the bookcase for money wangling. Uh, let's unlock it. And... I mean, I guess we could put it there, right? I guess that's okay a couple of them if we wanted but yeah that seems fine okay i'll tell you what i think we're in a pretty good place with this university right now i think there's obviously still a fair bit to be done i think we do need more food over here so i think we need to get some uh, some kiosks into this whole space more so than we have already but we're, we're getting into a good place so i think we're gonna leave it there for today i think next time we're going to have another go at getting, I think, two stars on this place or just making it a bit more interesting. We have $124,000. So at the very least, we can, and we probably should, get ourselves another building or possibly two and see if we can't maybe, I don't know, get this place to be that little bit better. I think, you know, at the end of this academic year, we're probably going to have another building that we need. So... Yeah, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, do we buy this one? Do we buy that one? This one's more expensive, isn't it? 90,000, this one's 100,000. Okay, let's buy this one. Because if I put a library in there, it's in a middle spot between all these guys. It does connect everything together as well, which is good. So we'll see how things go. 
I think, like I said, next time we're going to see if we can make this place a bit better. I'm not promising we're going for a two-star camp. Wait a minute. That is not what I thought this was going to be. Oh. Oh, this building is completely different to what I expect. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I... Is that the perfect size for one of these guys? Kind of. Okay. Okay, I see I see what we're doing here, Two Point Campus. I see the game you're trying to play. We're going to have to get a field in there. That's going to be really, really cool. That is going to be really, really cool. We're also up to an average grade of B right now. Ooh, we might actually get somewhere. All right, I am going to leave it there for today. I'm rambling. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.